Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. Ooh. Come on. As you just saw, I am holding the computer with a cup of coffee with a cup of coffee. Um, that's my style. How are we going with our list of questions? Today, which is the sacrum day of the um, mental week of Aries. The question for today is how? Today was uh, is the first day I'm alone again because all the people just left, went away. And my mom too. Yesterday she came back home. She's lying now. So I came back to my natural state of being alone which I like. As always, before we begin, let's remember the etymology of the words. So remember, etymology of the word how. How comes from the Indo-European language quo med. Quo med. Quo meaning the object. Med is the measure, the um the way uh, to measure things mm -hmm. and then from there in the old um english we have hoi hoi that means how we remember is the way of the things which gives the origin to why to mm -hmm. So for those who are new, I remind you that I usually explain the etymology of the words because when we understand from where the things come, the words that we usually use um, come from, it helps us not only to know how to use it properly, but also to understand the beliefs because the words were created according to some beliefs. So it's important to know the etymology to know how also not only the words, but also our beliefs and point of views have been created. So now for us to get this question, remember that means what shape? What is the shape of the things? So this is the right question. So this means that the question how is trying to describe the shape of the things, the way in which they are shown. So let's go to the meaning and the concept of the word how. So from our cultural point of view of the question how, um, when we say how, we really refer to the idea of how can I do this or how can I reach this place? How the, how the question how is trying to go into the ways in which we can end our project uh, and the ways in which we can accomplish our mission or goals in something particular. Mm -hmm. So it describes the shape that we have to take, the modus, the, the, the way in which we have to, um, to do something. Mm -hmm. Now, picture this structure here. We go from point A to point B in our way things. We are the letter A, we are the subject, the subject that has an idea, object has an idea. And this idea is a projection, is projected to 
and end. A final thing. Yes, final thing. So project comes from projecta, means to throw, jecta, pro, ahead. Projecta, to throw ahead. So idea that is projected to an end, to a final destination, which is B. And we have the object. Here we have the subject with the idea, and the final projection is the object of the idea. That's why the idea of the subject is subjective and the object where it goes to is objective. The goal. This one here is who? This one here is what? And the way in which the subject will achieve the object is called the how. It might be like a silly thing what I'm explaining here, but it is the basis to understand the next things. So why this line here is the how? Because this way here, this line here, is the shape of the what? Shape of the what, which is the object. Hmm? So this here, from point A to point B, is a line. Hmm? It's a line to go there. It's a rect. So rect is its origin is regere in Latin that gives the word rule. Sorry, ruler. Hmm? The ruler. So what is a ruler? It's an instrument to mirror the distance the shape of point A to point B. This means that the how is under rules. It has rules to follow. Hmm? A rule. A rule, a ruler, taken as an object, is a line. A rule, taken as a subject, is a law. Hmm? Do you remember this? We have here many objects. Hmm? Hmm? So remember <coughs> that when I connect all the dots, I have a rule from point A to point B. So here we have the same structure that we saw before. So now, when you take only one line, we take this line here. This line is equal to, because this line is a way to connect point A to point B. Hmm? Now, if instead of taking this line A to B, 
I erase the B here and I name this one like the B. Now the how won't be just one line going from one spot to another. So once I erase the point B from here and I put it here, I will have many ways to reach this. So in this moment, when this line stops being a rule, a line, a law of the how, a way to do it, and it becomes a question. So in the animation of the universe, the point A to reach the point B here, just line is one rule, is a law, easy. It's one way to go to an object. But when I take the point B from here and put it here, suddenly the affirmation of the rule changes and we transform a question that is how? How can I reach this one? Meaning, what is the new path? This means that we can do this path this way. This is one how. I can also go in a straight line. Is another how. I can also do this path. That's another how. This means that there are many paths. So many ways. So now let's go to remember who does this path. Do you remember the two kind of who? Remember, we have two ways of asking who. One is who like me, and the other one is who like the being. Can you remember from yesterday? So, what importance of am? The importance of am is that reminds me that the being is all this, is all of this. Every line, every dot, everything. What was the importance of the I, am, of the me? What is the importance of me? What is the importance of me? Me is the one that is the gravity that creates one of these dots. Without me, without I, without I, this dot cannot exist. So it needs the energy of the, of the other ones around in order to exist and create new ones. So the I, me, is important to know that it takes, that represents within a network. And the am is important to remind me that it's a part of a whole network. So no one of them is bad or good, both of them are needed in order to exist. So me is the one that we call ego. And the am is the one that we call the being. So if the strict ego is a An ego must reach the point B.
the ego from its perspective will have to go and look for ways to reach A is the subject and B is the object. Hmm? So the ego, this being the ego, the subject, will live its life trying to reach the objective, the goal. It seems complex because I'm explaining it very slow. But actually, all this thing here equals life. This is life. So we have the subject, ego, that through its life will try to find a goal, an objective. And the path, the ways that it reaches to accomplish its objective, its goal, will be the how. Now, when I ask the question in my life, how can I accomplish accomplish my purpose? How can I accomplish my mission? How can I reach my goals? How can I get to happiness? How can I find the peace? How can I find harmony? Every time that we ask how, is this tiny being from here, me, the ego, asking itself, what is the path to get here? So that's why every person, when we ask ourselves, how can I do something? We do it from the ego. Because the ego is the one that tries to understand this. The ego and the being, I and am, has interesting um, attributes. The am is illimited, and the am is limited. If you see blurry, just listen to me, don't read. The am is infinite, the am, sorry, the, uh, the am is infinite, the i is infinite. The am is indeterminated and the I is terminated. So this is illimited because it doesn't have any limits. It goes openly to everywhere. It keeps going. It's infinite because it doesn't have a purpose. It's always the same. Constantly replicating the shape. It doesn't have an end. It's endless. And it's indeterminated because it doesn't have terms. It keeps going. Constantly. Because the am, the being, is illimited, infinite, and indeterminate. Doesn't have the opportunity to experience one concrete thing. It's impossible for it to understand a specific thing. So this is why the am creates a being that is limited, finite, and determinated. So in this way, the am is able to create the I, the ego, in order to create and to experience that creation in only one of the cells of this infinite universe. The ego is a tool for the am, the universal being. And what does self, the ego? It has patterns, rules, and laws to accomplish. Patterns, rules, and laws. 
So this means that the ego is the one that's within itself. The question, how can I accomplish the, the things? How can I go through all the patterns that I have? So the ego is the one asking constantly all the time, how project itself from the subject to the object in a projection, projection towards the future. How can I know which is the goal, which is the objective? How can I know this is the right path? How can I know how to get there? How can I know how to accomplish my mission? So the ego is the one projecting itself into another thing, asking how can I? But the am, the being, doesn't ask that. The being is everything. So the question of the being is, how am I? How am I? For the being, this all is the same. How am I? When a person lives from the ego, the questions that it does are always outside. When someone is living from the being, the question is, how am I? Because it knows that the point A and the point B is oneself. The question, how am I, is the one that helps me to accomplish my mission. How am I can help me to understand the tools that I have to accomplish my mission, my purpose, my goals. How am I? Encodes the idea of all the answers to how. What was the meaning of how? How means the shape of something. Literally means that. How means the shape of something. So basically, from the ego point of view, the question how is talking about what is the shape that I have to follow in order to reach something from point A to B. So the feeling, the, the point of view of am, of the being, regarding the question how, is not only one path, it's the whole thing is the shape of something, the shape of who I am. So that's why for the being, when you know the entire shape of yourself, what is the way in which I feel, what is the way in which I think, the way in which I am, when I ask myself, what is my shape, what is my way, now I can start to understand the whole pattern. The ego asks the question in the future. The being does the question in present. And in the question made in present, I figure out the shape of the thing, the point A and point B, all together here and now. And I want to clarify something. Um, um, to clarify, to clarify something about this. Uh, I am not saying here or judging the ego or the am according to this uh, structure, okay? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that this we can understand, shape the idea of where we are, where, where we find ourselves. Because both are important, the ego and the am, am and I is a map, is okay. So it's not about if I am asking the questions in the future, so wrong, no, don't think that. It's normal. It's just to picture the whole idea. So now, um, once we understand the conceptual idea, we have to remember that every day we do these questions. How can I reach my goal? How can I find this? How can I do that? 
we are always constantly, every day, asking ourselves things. How to do the things. So remember that what we do when we ask ourselves these questions is because we look ourselves as separated from the world. When we ask the questions in this way is because we're thinking that everything is apart from us, that the things are not connected, that I need to know something from the outside in order to accomplish what I'm willing to. So when we start to connect with the essence of our being or we start to um, look for um, for the connection to the essence of ourselves, the question should be different. The question is always, how am I? So I, I wrote the example today about myself. Myself, I was asking completely all the time in my life to do the project I am. The question is, how can I do it? How can I pay for it? How can I um, uh, communicate to the people what I'm doing? Uh, how can I um, um, how can I reach the spot where I have to go? How can I organize this trip to 32 nodes of the planet? So I was always doing these questions, and I was always doing these questions from the ego, because I was trying to reach that from the ego. And suddenly, everything changed when all the ways in which I decided to do it, all the hows that I was trying to solve, were impossible to do. The quarantine, the lockdown arrived, and everything was ended. So suddenly, I, real I realized that I cannot do this path as I was designing on how to do it. That this, if this path is the I am, so the way of doing it is being myself, I am. So instead of going to the future to question myself how to do it, I did the question in the present on how I am. And I started to do it in my way. So the way in which I was able to do this project was by just being me, by taking the tools of my personality, the tools that I have with me, what I am, doing it just being myself. And that's how everything worked. I'm doing it because of I'm doing it as I am. I saw the entire picture of who I was and there were all the answers. Remember, the question how is describing the shape of what it is. When the question how is done by the side, the ego, everything will be always a projection of an idea. When the question is done by the am, by the self, the be, the subject and the object becomes the same thing and you become your own goal, your own object, objective. Hmm? So that would be. And now I'm sweating. <laughs> the vibration for today is, the statement for today is, I am the creator's vision. The quote for today is Hercules, the great hero remembered by everyone that had to fulfill the 12 worst tests of the ancient world to show that he was Zeus' son and that he deserved a place with the gods. Its path is the path of enlightenment, and thus he is the guide to those who find themselves going through the great test of life. Let's go to the alignment. Sit comfortable, close your eyes, and concentrate on your breathing.
I become aware of the space I find myself in, the body I find myself in, and each one of my breath. And above me, I observe a light, my consciousness, in the shape of a divine spark and ignite it with every breathing. I take a breath and descend this divine spark to my crown above my head. I take a deep breath expanding this divine spark throughout all crown chakra. And in its light, I activate the question, how do I believe? Ignite. I descend this divine spark to my third eye in the center of my head. With deep breath, I expand this divine spark throughout my eyes and my brain. And in its light, I activate the question, how do I feel? How do I think? I descend this divine spark to my throat chakra. Taking deep breaths, I expand this divine spark along my throat through my voice. And in its light, I activate the question, breathe and ignite. I descend the divine spark to my heart. Taking deep breaths, I expand this divine spark in all the directions of my heart. And in its light, I activate the question, how do I feel? I breathe and ignite.
I descend this divine spark to solar plexus. Taking deep breath, I expand this divine spark throughout my stomach, my plexus. And in its light, I activate the question, how am I? Breathe and ignite. I descend this divine spark to the sacrum. Taking deep breath. I expand this divine spark throughout all my creative center. And in its light, I activate the question, how do I create and design the reality? Breathe and ignite. I descend this divine spark to my root chakra. With deep breath, I expand this divine spark throughout my genitals. And in its light, I activate the question, how do I project? Breathe and ignore. I descend this divine spark towards my knees. Taking deep breath. I expand this divine spark to my knees. And in its light, I activate the question, how do I move forward in my seeking process? Breathe and ignite. I descend this divine spark to my feet.
a través de mis pies y tobillos. With deep breath, I expand this divine spark throughout my feet and ankles. And in its light, I activate the question, how do I live? Breathe and ignite. Take a deep breath. And expand, expand this divine spark throughout the entire body. And I activate. I am the creator's vision. I am the creator's vision. I am the creator's vision. I am. I am. I am. Take a deep breath and start to bring this consciousness all throughout the body, stretching, yawning, and each one at its own time, come back here and now. Thank you everybody for being here as always and see you tomorrow at the same time.